Hey guys, greetings from London. One last time, yeah, we're on our way to the airport shortly, but we decided we would rent a bicycle and we're gonna go for a bike ride around Hyde Park. Yeah, I'm gonna show you around Hyde Park. Uh, right now we're up by Marble Arch, which is the north northeast corner of Hyde Park. And I think this is Park Lane. This is where all the fancy car dealers are. There's like a big guy dealing McLarens over there. Some like vintage Porsches and Ferraris. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of the Aston Martin, a bunch of posh car dealers, a bunch of nice hotels here on Park Lane. There's a bunch of phone booths. Yeah, and the phones are still in there. I thought they were all fake. That memorial there, you see those horses over there? That's a memorial to all the animals who died in wars. All right, not just the horses in World War One, but dogs and all the other pets that died, animals that died in service of their country. How you doing, mate? You all right? Uh, it's on your left hand, twisting that thing. Twist, twist to your left hand. There you go, that's the bell. It's cold because it's uh, no sun, yeah? It's England, right? <laughs> wanted to know where the bell was and wanted to know why it's cold. All right, now we gotta deal with tourists in the bike path. zip up the coat a little bit so I'm muffled a little because it's so cold it was not this cold when we went out to breakfast we had a big big British breakfast full English and now we're out biking it off Hyde Park is huge it goes way down there we walked through here yesterday a little bit and when I took you over to the Victoria and Albert Museum and uh, Royal Albert Hall. Someone out playing with their dog. This uh, whole speed bump thing for bicycles is pretty annoying. <laughs> oh, there's some little, what are those corgis? How very royal of them. Not corgis. Scotties or something. I think that's the Hilton or the Hyatt or the Merritt. I don't know, it's some big posh hotel. American brand. All right, we're coming up to Wellington Arch, which is the southeast corner of Hyde Park. This is Hyde Park Corner is what's called. It's a big traffic circle. If you want to go down to Piccadilly or if you want to go out to the West End or uh, the West, like, to the west, like Kensington, Knightsbridge, or if you want to go to the south down to Victoria, you come through this big traffic circle. Needless to say, it's a big of a traffic mess most days. Now over there, you see that white building on the other side? That's the Landsborough. That was uh, formerly a children's hospital. And then these guys bought it and said, hey, we're gonna convert this into an ultra posh hotel. In fact, Michael Jackson stayed there. So they spent millions, tens of, I don't know, hundreds of millions of dollars converting that place into a hotel. And then the Duke of Wellington's office was like, oh, by the way, there was a small clause in the lease to the land that says, should this property ever cease being used as a children's hospital, it can be reclaimed by the Duke of Wellington for 50 pounds. And he did. Yeah, it was one of the biggest legal malpractice suits in history. The lawyers, they were disbarred and they've been uh, driven out of the law. People lost hundreds of millions of dollars on that one. That was crazy. Woo, it's windy. All right, let's go down by the barracks. Let's see if this kid can catch up with us. Nice trellises. It is pretty awesome, isn't it? The boost is awesome, yeah? <laughs> this is his first time on an electric bike. He's like, whoa! Yeah, you can really crank, but there's a governor. It gets up to like 20 miles an hour, and then you're like, eh, it won't let you go any faster. Where's the gearing? The gearing's internal to it. It just does, it's, it's automatic. This is like an automatic shift, depending on your speed. Yep. Police. Oh, this guy's stopping. 
that's a crossing. We had a green light there. Yeah, we did. That's, by the way, is the French embassy right over there. Pretty posh place. Yes, the more wind blows. We're just going to go up here to the uh, the armory here. Not the armory, the barracks, the, the stables. Because the horse guard, their base is right up here, and their horse is out and about. In fact, that brown stuff you see on my right, the dirt, that is the horse track. More fast, more cold. Yeah, you have to, like, you have to, have to reach a happy medium, yeah? It's a pretty wild statue. Uh, up here, you can see the horse trucks. Let's see if we see any horses. Now, it was right along this road that about 40 years ago, the IRA planted a car bomb and killed, I don't know, what was it, a dozen horses, 18 horses, and several soldiers in one of the worst terrorist attacks of the war, the Troubles. But this is the horse guards parade on the, on the left. This is the horse guard stable. Yeah, right here, all this. And this is where the bomb was blown up by the IRA that killed all those horses and soldiers. That's the guy. The Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. And I suspect the horses themselves are down here where these fans are blowing. I don't see any horses yet. I think they go, out for, they go out for a workout in the morning. If you know how to ride a horse and are a cute American female, uh, you can <laughs> come out here and pretty easily help them out. They're quite chatty and always willing for another rider to help them uh, keep the horses exercised. <laughs> Boy, that was a proper gust. What do you think we uh, cut back up over there? Maybe we should just go a little slower, yeah? What? We just go a little slower, yeah? Slower so we don't freeze to death. <laughs> yeah, but they got proper coats on, mate. My son watches too many UK YouTubers. He's been saying, bruv. He's definitely going to pick up a bit of an accent if he goes to school here. Alrighty. Uh, that guy's booking. Now, over on my left, you see that row of white townhouses, yeah? Those are a lot of embassies, and one of those was the Iranian embassy. And I think it was 1979, 1980, a group of dissidents, maybe it was 81, a group of dissidents took control of the embassy, shot some police pole, held them hostages. And then all of a sudden, these men in black came off the roof, kicking in the windows and taking out all the terrorists. And that was pretty much the first time the British public learned of the SAS, the Special Air Service, taking out the Iranian embassy. And it was just one of those houses right over there on my left. Not exactly sure which one. Fun stuff. All right, let's just keep going in the park. Uh, for those who've never been to England, they do put like, look right, look left. Uh, straight, I guess, uh, so you don't, because they have so many European tourists and American tourists. Yeah, actually, you know what, we can just go down that way. Can we? Sorry. Let's go down this way. We're going to cut across the park, because I showed you that yesterday. That was the Albert Memorial. I think I lost my kid. There he is. He's back there. Some of these people are like being healthy and stuff, They're not just having fun. There used to be this video game where you could drive through London and the hyper accurate street maps if you were getting chased by the cops. And I remember you could always come into Hyde Park in that video game and just get totally lost on the sidewalks and such. It's quite mental. You know, let's go off on the sidewalk here. Connor, let's go this way. Yeah. Sorry, but. Oof. So pedestrians have the right of way, and I think dogs as well. There are many, many dogs here. There's one in my way. There's two in my way. <sighs> oh. Hey, 
We got bells on both sides. I thought there was only bells on one side. Oh, I guess we can ride over to the museum. No, we can't. It says no bikes. Cycles. Well, we'll go down to the palace. Okay, this is a big swan lake down here. This is not the big lake. The big lake was back behind us. We're going right over there. Doesn't say we can't. Might as well try it. Oh, it does say we can't. Nope. <laughs> no cycling. The sign was not very clear. Look at all the swans over here, guys. Can you see them all? Bumpity bump, bump, bump. There's the palace. This is where Lady Diana used to live, Princess Diana, after they were kind of uh, separated. Victoria, that's when she was young. Kensington Palace. And behind Kensington Palace are some of the most expensive houses in London. Like this, like the guy who owns Formula One, he, like he lives there, or his daughter lives there, I don't know, it's just crazy money back there. I think the US ambassador lives back there. A lot of other diplomatic places. school kids taking a tour of the palace all dressed in their little blazers and jumpers <laughs> got to use the proper terms dog walkers you're right mate how you doing? Freezing? It's pretty easy to ride a bike when it's like this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he just like shoots you away. Up ahead, we're coming up to the northwest corner of Hyde Park. This is a neighborhood known as uh, Bayswater. And a little bit more, Notting Hill. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys have seen that movie. Maybe we'll go bike through Notting Hill for a little bit, yeah? That's where the Notting Hill Carnival takes place every fall, which is absolute insanity on the streets. It's a huge uh, Jamaican Caribbean festival that's sort of taken over all cultures. All cultures take place. It's a big party. 
Some of you may be asking, why do I know so much about London? And it's because my company that I had long ago was funded in London. We had an office here. I spent a tremendous amount of time here. Didn't technically live here because you don't really live here if you're in a hotel. But uh, I've spent months in London <laughs> over the course of my life, months. And well, you have to get away from Piccadilly and find yourself something more interesting every now and then. All right, we're going to go out of the park. All right. We're on the sidewalk, which is a bit of a no-no, but it's all right. We're going to cut up on the street here. So this Bayswater station is down here. There's actually it used to be a really good Chinese down here. Let's uh, get on the street. All right, let's get out of the way. This bus is coming. So this is the neighborhood of Bayswater. It's a bit more local neighborhood. Far less tourist attractions and all that. And more sandwich shops and delis. And pizza Pilgrims, I ate there in Cambridge. That's a good pizza. It's a chain. It's all over London now. And Five Guys, yeah, America. Woohoo! St. Mary's, St. Mary's, that's the uh, grocery store. Tesco Express. Uh, now, if I recall, yeah, it's down the end. There's a giant shopping mall down here. It's got like a movie theater and stuff. I think I saw Judge Dredd, the one with Sylvester Stallone, in this theater down here. <laughs> that's how long ago I used to hang out in this neighborhood. Boots, that's kind of like CVS. In fact, I think Boots and Walgreens might be owned by the same company. I'm not sure. There's a post office. Yeah, this was the old, this is the old shopping mall. Or is it still a shopping mall, I guess? All right, let's, let's leave our way through traffic. Kensington Garden Square. Look at all these Mary Poppins looking houses. <laughs> Places are huge. Now in all these they have basements, that's where the servants used to live. And then the people that live here are given a key that gives them access to the park, which is here on my left. So if you live in this neighborhood, you can use this basically private park. There is the private garden, and it belongs to the residents of this area. Pretty posh. I'm gonna go right, dude. We'll try to go right. It's a car coming. Now we're good. Ooh, chilly. Princess Square. You know, actually, let's go this way, mate. I actually lived down here for a summer when I was a law student and studied over here. I think it was on this next block. Honestly, though, I can't remember the address. He's got a learner's permit on his scooter. There's possibly a guy learning the streets for the knowledge, the taxi knowledge. We have to know every street in London. Hyde Park is three minutes away. All right, we'll head back up to Hyde Park. This neighborhood, by the way, around me, this is Notting Hill. <laughs> in fact, Notting Hill Gate Station, and Notting Hill Station is just up ahead. the side, sidewalk.
Look at all the flowers. The valley flowers. Not sure why. Why here? Navalny. So down there is Notting Hill Gates, Notting Hill Station. And back here. Oh, that's why it's the Russian embassy. That's why. Russians. Is that the embassy or the ambassador's place? It's pretty run down. That's the Hilton. That's one of the smallest Hilton hotels I've ever stayed in. <laughs> here on Bayswater Road. So if you want one of those rooms where like the bed can only fit in the room one direction and your suitcase can only go in one place, that's, that's it. That's your Hilton. All right. We're going to go into the park again. Ah. No cycling, no cycling, no fun. See that gray building over there, yeah? That's the uh, Royal Garden Hotel or something like that. That's where the England 66 team stayed during the World Cup that was here in London. And uh, they just mobbed that hotel after England beat Germany. Yeah, so that was like their headquarters. It was a nice hotel. That's where I used to stay all the time too. That's where visiting rugby teams stay too when they come to Twickenham. Uh, let's go down to the road, yeah? So you see all these taxis, yeah? This is a taxi stand right here. That's where taxi drivers get a quick breakfast or a drink and all the spots around it are reserved for taxis and there's a lot of those little taxi stands around the city just for places for that meet. there is the royal albert hall where <laughs> roger daltrey and pete townsend are playing right now at the who their last show of last shows of many many last shows how many times do all these rock bands retire um, and that's the Albert Memorial. For Prince Albert. The man who helped build Crystal Palace. There's the Royal Albert Hall. Imperial College is just behind there. I think I showed you that yesterday. Wow, there's a herd of school kids up here. That's the only way to describe it all under the high visibility jackets. There's like a herd of little kids up there. There's like a herd of kids up there in those little high vis jackets. So many kids out and about. I mean, if you went to school in London, it'd be just kind of crazy just to stay in a classroom all the time. The whole city's your classroom. Maybe we should go for a horse. Those are cops, not like horse rides. <laughs> That was fun. There's some folks taking the horses back in. I told you those young ladies would uh, take the horses out for walks. <laughs> those are some young horses though. Here's the memorial, I knew it was somewhere. On July 20th, uh, 1982, at this spot, a terrorist bomb exploded as the Queen's lifeguard was passing. Four members of the Blues and Royals lost their lives, 12 soldiers and six civilians were injured, and seven horses died. And these are the names. Lieutenant Daly, Staff Corporal Bright, Lance Corporal Young, and Trooper Tipper. This is the memorial. Ambulances I see a lot. I have not seen any fire trucks though. <laughs> oh, police have stopped traffic for some reason. Oh, it's the royal carriages. Connor. I knew it was something unique coming up. <laughs> this will be cool. Oh, come
it's Kim. What's up? They're going around the back. And the back doors are where the carriages go. It's kind of a serpentine route to get there. Now let's go out to the palace. down. Follow this bike. This way on the red. All right. India, Pakistan, Nepal, Africa, Caribbean, all the different colonies. Let's go down to the palace. This is Buckingham Palace on my right. This is the backyard of Buckingham Palace uh, over here on the right. And this is Green Park over on my left. And then St. James Park is up ahead. Already back in front of the palace with all the tourists and all the pickpockets that look like tourists. Pickpocketing is a big deal here. It happens a lot. Everybody getting their picture? Royal standards up. Okay, we're going to go over to St. James's now, which is just up the mall, here on the left. All the TV crews talking about the missing king. Uh, I guess we just go this way. Let's go. So back up here is St. James's Palace, and various royals have lived here at different times. I think the Queen Mum used to live here. I think Charles used to live here. Oh. There are guards down there. We'll go around the backs. Oh. 
All right. Got a bicycle light. And then we're going to turn left, come. Marlboro Road. That's a lot of police there. More guards. That's the Queen's Chapel of St. James's Place. used to have a guard on duty back here long ago and he could go up and stand next to him i think we can drop our bikes here this is a memorial to the airmen who lost their lives of all nations 55 573 United Kingdom, the British Commonwealth, and Allied Nations serving with RAF Bomber Command. The fighters of the salvation, but the bombers alone provided the means of victory. Okay, guys, at Heathrow Express Station, Paddington. Yeah, this is London Paddington. Just think of the Beatles running through here. Let's grab a train. Okay, guys, that's my plane. We're going to go somewhere new. Uh, no hints, but that's my plane. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.